Welcome to another Wonder Build tutorial. In this video, I'm going to take you through how to add specifications to your estimates. Let's start off by picking an estimation that's currently in draft. So we can go through an example. So go down to your estimations and go to this one here as an example. And what we want to do is add a very first specification. What is a specification? It is the ability to include your category items, the items that you'd like to include in your costings as an example, that you'd like to produce and show your, your customers on your quote. There's two ways you can create a specification, one of which you can create a brand new category. The other way you can actually import your specifications from the costings. So let's go ahead and create a brand new category um, for this specification. For this category, we might call it something like inclusions as an example. And then from here, under the category, you can start to add the category items. So in this example, let's prefer, might do the first one as a driveway. Credit description included as an example. And you can then upload the picture. Of course, you can add multiple items. So let's go ahead and add the second item. And go ahead and click create. And now you can see here under the inclusions, you've got the items for the category that will be shown to the end customer on the quote, which is really handy. You can see everything for this category. Let's look at the second way on how to create a specification from the actual costing. Go to the menu to the left. And let's have a look at the costings that we have associated with this estimation. And there we have it, all the main categories. And what you want to do is perhaps take one of these items and have them show up on the specifications to be shown to the end customer. Easiest way to do that is go back to your estimations. So go to that menu to the left, go back to specifications. And from here, what you can do is you can go to the options area on the top right corner of the categories box, click on import from costing and click the drop down. And then there we have it. All of the items that are all the categories from the costing are here. And let's just go ahead and select concrete as an example. Once you've got that selected, you can see all of the costing items that you can import into your specification to show to your end customers. Perhaps you only like to include one of those items. So you can just click the little X box on the right side to delete the ones you don't like to include under these specifications. And let's just select this one as an example. From here, of course, upload the image that you like to associate. And now that you've done that, you can create the description. So perhaps this could be stone path front yard. And once you're happy with that, you can either check the box import from another item from the costings category. And that will basically clear this form and you can then reselect another item, costing item from the dropdown. Otherwise you can just create. Now perhaps you might want to add another category to this specification. So again, options, import from costing. And this time, select applied finishes. Let's create a name for this one. This could be oven top finish as an example. Upload that image and create that description. And once you're, you've done that, click on create. And now you can see here under the categories to the left side, all the specifications that will be included in the quote to be shown to the end customer. And you can literally cycle through them to ensure everything looks good. And once you're satisfied with those specifications, let's look at how to preview the quote before you send it to your customer. All you need to do, menu to the left, go down, click on preview. And this will generate a preview of the quote. Now the quote's loaded up. All you need to do is simply navigate to the specification sections of the quote. And here are the specifications that you included previously. So the inclusions with the driveway, the kitchen bench, the photos that you chose to upload, and of course the applied finishes are all here for the end customer to see. 
And that concludes our video tutorial on how to add a specification to your estimates. Thanks for watching and please stay tuned for the next video.